Hello again, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment and join me today on what looks like a lovely afternoon and it is a lovely afternoon, you know, it looks quite tropical but the coat and the jumper gives it away. There's a pretty chilly breeze uh, whipping around so yeah, had to uh, dress up even though you know, it looks uh, wonderfully sunny, but yeah, been very refreshing and a uh, you know, pretty good afternoon up here actually, you know, very relaxing. But uh, of course, I am here to talk about whiskey and what is the allotment dram today, I hear you ask. Well, it's another new whiskey and one that fits the sort of tropical look, if not the feel of the actual weather. It's the uh, Jura rum cask finish. And this uh, has come out, what, only about a month ago. And uh, it's a Jura that's been, uh, it's third in a series called the Cask Editions. Uh, it's third bottling. And uh, it's firstly been in American White Oak, ex-Bourbon casks. And then, obviously as the name suggests, it's gone into some rum casks. And these have been sourced from the Caribbean. Uh, so you'll see the packaging, you know, has this lovely sort of, uh, slightly tropical uh, feel to it so you know as does the the tin as well you've got you know, it's a very nice design on there uh, it's 40 percent and uh, also available currently in one liter size uh, so uh, exclusive in the uk to the tesco supermarket chain uh, so there will be a 70 cl version coming out uh, later in the year and also out to other markets as well so uh, yeah about what 45 pounds for the uh, one litre so not not too bad at all and of course what can I tell you about Jura well Jura is uh, Hebridean Island you know, pretty much right at the bottom of the the Hebridean uh, chain of islands uh, so it's got to you'll see um, uh, sort of map here you can probably can't see very well but you've got the Campbelltown Peninsula you've got Isla and then the very long island in between the two is Jura uh, so the distillery has been there since 1810 uh, bit of a checkered history but uh, you know particularly in the 20th century it was closed for over half of the 20th century um, reopened in the 1960s and uh, you know, really then taken over by White and Mackay, who are the current owners, in the 1990s. And then they've really been the ones responsible for you know, really pushing the, the brand and the distillery to where it is today. You know, sort of very, uh, very sort of well, good selling uh, brand of single malt. But um, yeah, I think uh, we should have a little taste of this. Uh, rum cask finish. There seems to be a lot of rum cask uh, whiskies sort of coming out. It seems you know quite a hot, um, quite a hot topic at the moment to use a rum cask. And you know you think even this time last year or two years ago, you know, there's virtually no rum cask whiskies at all. But you know we've tried some excellent ones, uh, sort of in the last year or so, and particularly working well it seems with this sort of lightly smoky style like Jura or the heavily smoky sort of you know a bit more Isla style um, this sort of balance of the peat smoke and the the rum seems to be working very well but um yeah let's have a let's have a try of this I think uh, I've rabbited on enough uh, here so I'm going to open the bottle for you let's, uh, and see what we find Well, that was a good one, wasn't it? You know, very nice sound. People will know that's one of my favourite sounds already. It's wow, it's actually just leaping out of the bottle, you know, before it even it wants to get into this glass. Obviously, there we go. We just pop that down for a second, pop the lid back on. We always do that. You only ever knock over a bottle of whiskey once where you haven't put the lid back on, by the way. Um, before you learn to do it every time, but uh, what have we got here? Let's uh, let's see what we've got. This lovely golden, slightly deep gold colour. Yeah, and as I say, it's leaping. It was leaping out of the bottle, so 
very sort of vibrant, quite fruity, very fragrant, aromatic. It's got a lot of, um, a sort of golden syrup and honey here. But then there's this, and with rum cast you tend to get this sort of tropical fruit nature. So definitely got some pineapple and a, a bit of mango here. Then a pinch of like cocoa, cocoa powder and milk chocolate. But underneath there's some more fruits as well. There's like a peach and an apricot. And quite a lot of vanilla, I'm guessing coming from these American white oak casks that the whiskey's been in to start with. Just a little hint of, of smoke and no, nothing too powerful from Jura. It tends to be quite a soft, gentle type of smoke. It's on the sweeter side rather than this sort of more acrid medicinal style that you get with Isla. But uh, let's have a taste. Hmm. As I say, 40% ABV. It's pretty approachable. But it has this sort of lush, juicy, luscious feeling. You know, as it hits the as it hits the tongue, lots of these tropicals are coming through, which then sort of fade a little bit. I'm getting like a caramelised pineapple and like a really fresh, juicy uh, peach, maybe slightly overripe peach coming through, particularly. Then a hint of that mango uh, as as well, and yeah, there's a bit of sort of structure underneath it's quite a distinct sort of multi quality actually a slightly biscuity oaty quality and then this sort of gentle slightly distant peat that i was talking about it's got again this sort of softer and sweeter edge to it it's just there adding this savory note in the background really but um yeah let's let's have another taste Now I'm getting some sultana green apple, like a dried green apple, something like that. It's a vanilla and coconut as well. A little pinch of spice, a sort of woody baking spice, I always call it. And then some honey and uh, vanilla as well. You know, I said vanilla before, it adds to this sort of the vanilla, adds to this sort of creamy luscious effect. It's just a twist of maybe some blood orange or pink grapefruit or something like that just right at the end which you know adds a bit of um, a bit more interest. I mean there's a lot of interest here. I mean the only thing I would say is the finish is a bit short and sweet literally short and sweet. Once the sweetness sort of fades then the whiskey's gone and I mean that's good in one way because it means you want to take another sip because the rest of it is so delicious but you know it's just the one thing that slightly lets it down uh, for me is this really short finish but this is delicious on its own it, you know you imagine mixing that in a nice summer cocktail uh, you know or a long drink something like that we should definitely be trying you know maybe on a slightly warmer day than today but um yeah lovely absolutely delicious and um, say just that finish is a touch disappointing but you know, 45 pounds for a litre not too naughty you know if you're in Tesco and you spot the bottle then you know you wouldn't I don't think you'd be disappointed and yeah just that little hint of smoke you know it's lovely as well but um, that's pretty much it from myself and the the Jura rum cast finish we will bid you farewell We'll get on with a couple more jobs before we head home and uh, we'll see you next time hopefully. Thanks for watching. Cheers.